Alright, in this tutorial, mm -hmm. I'm going to show um, beginners how to get randoms from my 4D and the basics, okay? Right. Over here, we have our objects, okay? If you go down the left uh, mouse button, you'll be able uh, to expand it and see what in there, okay? Click on any one you want to start with, okay? And you have these orange um, circles, and you can um, like make it wider, thinner taller or whatnot. Right. Over here we have the uh, make edible mesh or whatever you want to call it. Okay, it makes it edible um, so you can edit the mesh inside the object. So we click that. Make sure your object um, selected first okay? if we click it. And um, we have down here um, edge tool right but oh, yeah edge tool and no not edge point sorry here the point tool you select the points and you have all moving around and stuff here we have the edge tool and the able to move the edges around and here we have the polygon tool the able to move um, the faces of the polygons all right that, that is basics okay and um up here you can move the camera around Just zoom in now I don't choose the mouse wheel to zoom in and out to rotate. Here we've got um, we click on that. We've got um, it to um, see um, four crews. Okay, you have your top, your front, and your right. And um, if, if you've got a mouse wheel, you can just um, click your mouse wheel in, and it will jump to the window or jump out. So you can much more faster to use it. Got a mouse wheel. Okay. Um, really cool to pull is from my 4D, okay? Gotta be the knife tool, okay? So, we um, right click and you go down to the knife and um, you're able to make cuts and stuff, right? Right track and stuff. At the bottom, there's the cut. So, it could, if you don't want to edit to a small part of the object without going right through it cutting all the way through it but if you want to cut all the way through it go down to loop go back into the next window be able to click and then um, now we've got uh, uh, more cuts and stuff on the polygons and if you go up here and click on polygon tool you be able to select the faces of the polygons but if you um, like you can select if you have done mouse button you can select more than one. But if you have done um, if you do pick one then you hit ship and then select it. But if you don't um, hit ship it'll be a bit jump. So okay. And um, if you want to get rid of uh, let's say I've got one extra what I don't want. Um, I hit control and it deselects it, okay? Right handy. So select corners right, now what we get if, if you go down to extrude um, it's quite helpful to uh, make models and stuff right you always going to be constantly extruding and stuff in some cases so um that's very helpful um so it makes more polygons okay but the ones just selected will extrude them and make make more polygons. Okay. Um, the bevel tool um, to kind of bevels out the edges of the polygon. It kind of like that extrude uh, tool, but it kind of gives it a round edge. But oh, I'm not sure nothing right. You see the funny color patches. Okay. If you click on it, icon here. There's here, so as I if you put it down to the plane, it will make it even more sharp. I don't think you always um, have a little bevel there, so move it out and get it right. I always like to find it for some other reason. It makes it um, look um, sharper, but not um, too sharp. It is kind of too sharp in some cases, but yeah, it only makes it better for the plane. If I get a, 
seven button. Clicking on it to talk, and it's talk here. Move seven button to the right, good left. Nothing with news tools here. If you uh, click the, you can click on either one of these arrows. Okay. To, uh, move the object. So, but if you don't click on any then and click off the side, it um, freely moves the object around. Um, and you have your rotation tool, so you can rotate your object. You have your scale tool. If, if you don't. Uh, the same thing with this one here, right? If you don't click on any one moves, it will uh, make a click on the iron side. But um, if you edit, if you edit the object and stuff, right? No, you do it. It'll plan it out. Right? It isn't edit. It, it, oh, like that. No, it isn't. Now the object isn't edit. Edit it. Okay. Um, it will just go out that or no around for some weird reason. Don't know why. Um, now if we go back to the next tool here, put this down to 20, Ooh, 20. Uh, it don't look that, that's the difference, right, but if I go down to 5, you'll see it's all for edges, right, or, can be awful, right, when you try and make objects and stuff, you don't really want that, so instead of it being too smooth, you'll, you don't get it, Kind of right. Uh, I'm going to select the polygons and make through them. Show you. Um, right. Another thing is if you selected some uh, polygons, you got to um, scale tool. You can scale up um, the polygons for the points wherever you select them. Okay. And um, I'm going to bevel, bevel it. Now you can see um, th that don't look too awful, but if I um, go out here more, it did, um, moves out of the edges too much, so you, um, it good to um, have a little go with it, so like I'm having a little change with it, okay? I always like funny. No, no, it's solid. Right, um, yeah, and I don't think it might be in its object. If um, I click on uh, it, pull up here, okay, just click on it once. Uh, drag on object what I made over here earlier into that, it'll move it out. Um, click on the thing we added, okay, put it down a little bit. You can always change how far it moves it out, it's different from um, the other moving tool. And it makes more polygons instead of. Um, I think that thing to change the line and stuff. I can't remember. I read up somewhere on Wikipedia about it. But yeah, it isn't too bad. Right. Sorry if I didn't find anything um, good enough. Still getting new, new uh, still getting used to making tutorials and stuff. I'm a bit nervous, so just hang with me. <laughs> I'll get better. Right, I hope you liked this tutorial. Hopefully it was helpful for you. And good luck. I'm learning some more for you.